Okay. So the next question is to represent root 5 on a number line. So the previous uh, figure was very uh, crowded. So let me go ahead and make it on a different one. Let me take a sharpened pencil. A big Okay. So again the same thing we are going to first make a number line. Okay. So this is my number line. So the question is represent root 5 on a number line. Okay. So let us do something more interesting. So instead of representing root 5 let us check it as minus root 5. Hmm. So now the question is negative. Right. So we need this as our O because we need negative numbers right so 0 and we can take division of 1 so people it depends like you know I usually take it as 1 centimeter you can take it as 2 centimeters as 1 unit even that is allowed that will actually make your figure look little bit larger and neater okay so you can do it definitely you can that is allowed okay so this is 1 this is 2 this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. Okay. So we are actually planning to make minus root 5 on a number line, right? So if it would have been root 5, then we would have taken the positive number. This time, let us take the negative number. So consider, uh, so when you want to do it, consider it as positive. Okay. So suppose if you have your right angle triangle okay let's call it as ABC so basically the question is I need this as my root 5 correct just like in the previous case we wanted this as root 2 and root 3 now we want this as root 5 and suppose if I take one of the side as 1 so I need to find this X okay same formula so hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square this time I'm going to take the hypotenuse as root 5 Okay, so root 5 square is equal to side 1 is 1 and the other one is x square. So root 5 square is 1. 1 square is 1 plus x square. So I'll get x square as 4. So x as 2. Interesting. So that means one of the sides should be 2 centimeter, the other one as 1 centimeter. So if I'm going to take this, then I will get my hypotenuse as root 5. Okay, so let's do it. But we are going to make minus root 5. So we are going to do go 2 units on the left hand side so from here I'm going to start from here so from here to here two units correct so let me call this as my a then just like in the previous uh, question we are going to make a 90 degree now on the left hand side instead of on the right hand side this is okay then let's make a line okay then we are going to take one centimeter radius so let's take that so one centimeter okay and we are going to cut this line now let me call it as point B and then we just have to join O and P. That's it. Okay. Got it? So I know this is two units. This is one unit. So obviously this will be root five units. Okay. But since I told you again, the question is, this is what uh, mostly the students do mistake. They just make OB and they just leave it. No. The question is you need to represent root five on the number line. So you need this on the number line. So again, use your compass okay going to take measurement of OB okay radius OB and then you're going to just make an arc like this got it so wherever it intersects okay let's call it as C so here OC is root 5 is it units okay it's nothing given so let's call it as units so OC is equal to root 5 units that's it okay that's how you do it 
Now represent root 7 on a number line. So I want to try it by yourself. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye.